think all of us would be aware that in the past few days we have seen the ANC um, leadership unveiling a number of documents. <clears throat> we are heading for a policy conference. Uh, just to give you a quick sense about it, this is a, uh, it's a ritual which we perform every five years. And um, what co gets contained in those documents will reflect issues inside the party, uh, what needs to be done, what needs to be corrected. And then, of course, it looks at issues that relate to um, the governance of the country, particularly issues within the way government operates and issues that relate to society, issues that relate to the economy. And so um, it becomes an open conversation. Uh, what we'd like to also see is a situation where you can dig into those documents, look at them. Uh, you can write to the ANC, you can debate on your, uh, amongst yourselves, and effectively it's about creating a conversation. I think it is going to be interesting time because you're going to go through uh, a policy conference and of course a uh, um, national general conference, which is an elective conference. It creates uh, a lot of excitement because there's leadership issues there. And that's one I've not come to discuss here. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I needed to make sure that I put that out of the way to preempt any sort of questions. However, I think it's also important to say that uh, uh, the party is going through a lot of issues that it has to face. Uh, amongst those are the issues of uh, what we have seen as the decline in some of the areas of support, particularly the major cities. And therefore, it raises a number of issues as to what needs to be fixed within the party. A lot of tensions within the party. We've heard about some of the uh, you know, uh, uh, issues such as factions and so on. This, this is just one issue that normally requires management because the ANC is a multi-class organization with diversity of views and its strength really lies in being able to try and harmonize the different views and create a program that is coherent for everyone to move forward. And so uh, it is something that we're going to have to be dealing with uh, is, uh, as the party as we move towards the um, uh, end of the year. Among the issues that we are focused upon uh, that we believe are important is that of uh, you know, economic issues. In particular, I think uh, what we believe needs to be focused on is the fact that uh, we have uh, an economy that's not been growing properly. You have had uh, sluggish growth. Last year, I think we, we had very, I think for a long time, we never anticipated that we would actually have a growth that will be less than 1%, and that's where we were last year. And so this year, we are a bit more positive, and we believe uh, a number of, I'm sure all of you would be aware, uh, a number of predictions that we should be above 1%, 1.2, depending. So uh, we are looking at what is it that we can do to try and uh, assist for the economy to grow. So issue of increasing investment is one of the issues that we are looking at. How can that be done? The issue of uh, reducing unemployment, effectively, uh, particularly the youth unemployment, is one of those issues that we have to look at. In particular, because if you look in some of the rural areas, uh, the figure uh, unemployment is much higher than the Average 27 percent in some areas, it go, goes to beyond 50 percent amongst the young people, particularly in the rural areas. So it's an issue that we have to look at. How do we ensure that the economy is able to grow to the extent that it is able to reduce inequality and uh, poverty? And, and that's a real long-term challenge that we have to deal with, as it were. Uh, and amongst them, there are other very uh, sensitive matters, such as the issue of land. How do we ensure that we actually... Uh, uh, accelerate the speed at which land is returned to people and also that we have got effective land reform programs and that becomes another area. And the other area is that of uh, building small business sector and building a cooperative sector. Uh, this is the area that uh, is supposed to be helpful in growing um, the numbers of uh, job uh, um, uh, opportunities uh, in most economies, small business sector tends to be the one that assists in that process. So these are a number of issues that have to come in and get uh, uh, looked at if you look at, at, at the kind of documentation. And of course, uh, how do we ensure 
that our economy is better integrated to the African economy. Uh, economies, uh, effectively, that's going to be our area of growth, and it's an area that uh, we need to increase the um, level of uh, trade between us to much higher levels. And so this is one of the areas that we would be looking at uh, within the, within the uh, party documents.